Hey guys, welcome back to Teen Cooking 101. I am Lynn at the West Regional Branch Library. I'm the young adult librarian, and today we are going to be making a giant chocolate chip cookie. I love this recipe. I use it at home all the time when I want some cookies, but nobody else does. So I have pre-measured our ingredients. We have two tablespoons of butter and a half a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm going to combine all of our wet ingredients this time first. You can do it either all wet or all dry, but don't try to combine them at the same time. So we've got our butter, which I have softened the butter to make it easier to mix in. Hi, this is the video editor. We had a little audio problem here. Uh, Lynn is adding two tablespoons of egg beaters. Uh, you can also just beat up an egg and measure out two tablespoons, but she used egg beaters because that's a little bit easier. After she mixes in the last wet ingredient, the egg, she's gonna add four tablespoons of sugar, a fourth cup of flour, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, a half teaspoon of baking soda, and a fourth teaspoon of salt. And all of these ingredients will be listed in the recipe in the information box below the video. We're going to mix them all together. Now cookies are not like cake. So cake, it's very easy to over mix. So you, with cake, you want to make sure that you're not doing that, so you're watching for lumps and bubbles. Cookies, it's a little bit harder to do that with. It's basically you, you mix it until, until it feels right. I know that's not a great explanation, but as you bake, you'll learn what it means. And of course, the last and most important ingredient, a fourth of a cup of chocolate chips. So. Now this is a fairly dry cookie, so that means that when you're clumping it, when we're going to put it together, you're going to do most of the work with your hands. So. Now, let's say you're cooking and you don't have any parchment paper or spray oil to put on your cookie sheet. As long as you have some oil, you'll be fine. So I have got just some olive oil. I'm going to put it a little on a paper towel, just a dab, and then you just go over your baking sheet. This will keep the cookie from sticking, which means more cookie. So now I'm going to take our cookie and we're going to crush it into place. Now I've got my cookie ball. My chips keep trying to escape. Not cool. So you just place it in the center. You can press it down if you want to. You don't have to. I have preheated my little toast oven to 350. So it should cook in about 10 minutes. I will amend if it takes a little bit longer for it to cook. But let's get it in the oven and get it started. I'm gonna go set the timer and then we'll see what happens when we get done. Hey, so 15 minutes was the correct time. It is, I've taken it out, I've let it cool. So let it cool for a few minutes but when you get it out because you will burn your tongue. If you don't want to believe me, find out for yourself. So, ooh, it's so soft. Mm -hmm. Super good. It's not a very sweet cookie, but it is very, very chocolatey and so yummy. I hope that you gave it a try, and I will be back again with another recipe for you to try real soon. Have a great day. 